baseball from the Big Apple. We're at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Today we've got a contest out of the American League East between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. It's Yankees baseball, and it comes your way next. Julio Tehran, the Colombian native, gets the call to start this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Settling in now, Miguel Ramos. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The designated hitter, Miguel Ramos. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. Oh. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Here's a ball skied in the air near the line. Back behind first. Rosado backs up a bit, and he takes charge for the first out. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, it's no secret. They need the big Giancarlo Stanton to turn it around soon. Looking at the last game, it was 0 for 3, but it was the way he went about that 0 for 3. He didn't look very aggressive, and actually, he, he looked kind of lost to me. I'm wanting to see a different player in that batter's box today. First offering on its way. 0 and 1 the count. The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. One, one, one. Short, hit hard. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw yeah. just does beat him to the bag, as that was pretty close. Here's Corey Seager looking to get on base that and keep first. this first inning alive. Shortstop. First Corey. pitch of the at-bat. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Zero. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. I think a few of the... Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Torres. The and they've Yankee. got some work to do early on. Baseball. Down 4 nothing already. Lots of baseball Go left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. The 0-1 delivery. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. And he fouls this one off. Now another 0-2. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. And guys, this starting pitcher right here is in the top five in the league in strikeouts. And what does that tell me? That tells me that his defense cannot fall asleep in this one. They better go through their pre-pitch routine. They better stay on their toes and stay engaged in this one in case something finds a barrel. Giancarlo Stanton now, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The 0 1 pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 2. 
Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. And I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. The first base Stepping base. in now, Luke Voigt. As with two away, Boy. he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Behind 0 2 now. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, D Row. And to be able to hang in there on an 0 2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2 0, 3 1, 0 2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Frozen on the fastball never had a chance and the inning is over one hit one left will go now. To Next for New York Max Kepler and his guys have quite a hill to climb down five zip here in the early going now a fastball on the inside corner and he takes a look at strike one. Fastball called for strike two. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit Ks, and it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. Standing in now, number 73. number 73. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Comes into play here at 273. Six home runs and 19 driven in. In there, and it's 0 2 now. The 0 2 delivery. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Still a ball and two strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, Castaneda makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in now for the Yankees, Miguel Ramos. He flew out in his last at bat. Miguel. Fastball in there for a called strike. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Digging in the switch hitter, number 13, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses for ball one. One one. A bouncer up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. 
you take a look at the numbers up to this point, you see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going Corey. forward, but I'm not betting against him. Seager. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Castaneda will settle under it to no make runner, the play no for the right first there, out as the runner will have to head back to first. Good time now to check out the Orioles road to the show report as you see a couple of guys in the upper levels that have been making waves of late. Now back, Next will be the cleanup baseman, hitter Torres. Weber. First time up he went down looking Torres. and he takes a cold oh, strike 0 and 1. No runs two hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. Ball. And this is high Weber. a ball and a strike. Hit on the ground, two, two. first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. One and two, here it comes. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. Castaneda two, two, two. is back near the stands as he it, holds it, it in the for the second out. Standing in, Giancarlo Stanton. He looked to bounce back no after field. striking out his last no, time oh, up. Oh. Good fastball That's down around that. the knees there, taken for a strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Standing in, Luke Voigt. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Base yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Behind 0-2 now. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. 0 for now 1 after he Third took a baseman. look at strike 3 in his Yo. first plate appearance. Urshela. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike 3 last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Popped him up. Story has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. At the plate, Max Kepler. He was a strikeout yeah, victim in his first try. Right yeah, and he didn't put up much Matt. of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Swings through it for strike number two. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Hot what, what, shot what? on the ground is short. Backhanded. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Orioles five and the Yankees nothing. So striding in, number 73. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Here's a pop up now. Huff calls for it. One away. Oh. 
So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Miguel Ramos. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Now this pitch is swung on and popped up. And this will also head toward the right side of the infield. Now in the box, number 13. A hit in two tries so far. Into the corner and slicing foul. Two out, nobody on. Hit the other way out toward right field. Castaneda is there. And that ends the inning. Here's Corey Seeger. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. High in the air out to center field. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter now Torres. He's 0 for baseman. 2 in the ball game so far. In there and it's 0 and 1. The difference between 0 1 and 1 0 is so monumental and this guy has been on top of his game all day attacking the zone and getting ahead of these hitters. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Here's another 0 2. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Now back. Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo. So go after the first pitch and bounce Stanton. it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now here it comes. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Ball two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. This one. Into the box now. Look, Boyd. We're in the eighth Leave now, and Boy, nothing's Yankee. changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Boy. Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. And he takes this one high, one and one. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field. Fouled off. Two and two. And it's late his afternoon of work. And the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. So it was a swinging strike three. Luke Voigt becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Ready for another shot now. Gio Urshela. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Urshela. And he gets ahead 0-1. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes. How about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Looking to punch him out again. Pulled high in the air out to left field. 
Waiting on it, the left fielder, two gone. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. 0 for 2 right here to start the afternoon. Max. Kepler. In there for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Called strike 0 and 2. Here it comes on nothing and two. And it's fouled away. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. In now, number 73, starting things for his Lead side go. in the, the ninth Yankees. as they face the, the improbable catcher. odds number of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. In now, now is the Yankees DH, Miguel Ramos. Miguel. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit the other way out toward right field. Castaneda is there, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in, number 13. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as number they look 13. to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. And he fouls this one off. Last chance for the Yankees. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Wow. Talk about total dominance. Nine innings, only two hits allowed. That's about as good as it gets. This guy was as good in the ninth inning as he was in the first. So close to baseball history. Ten to nothing, the final shutout score in this one. The O's took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Stephen Tan earns win number seven on the season and records a complete game two-hitter in doing so. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Orioles, 10 runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base.
a player is encouraged to continue to refine a skill essential to his game. A major league skipper acknowledges a young player who has been greatly exceeding expectations. An MLB franchise is wise to recognize the obvious. Young players are the future of the game. Thank you. 
Now from City Field in Flushing, Queens, welcome to Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Ought to be a good one here between the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on MLB Network. I'll be joined in the booth by Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, but before we turn to them, let's turn to the results of the fan voting for this year's All-Star Starters. Final preparations being made on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Coming to the plate now, Garrett Hampson. He'll lead things Leading off here in the, the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, number first one. First delivery to him on the way. Zero. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. A one count, here's the pitch. Nope. And That's it's one and one. Swing and a line drive. Foul. The one two. Uh, uh. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. And there's your first out of the inning. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. What's the key for a home win here tonight, Mark? Well, Matty, you look at this lineup. The key to success is scoring early. Putting second. the other team on their heels Drop and allowing their own pitcher Mark to go Ray. out there and That's feel like stop. he can execute oh, his game three. plan and attack and stay in the zone. This offense needs to get on the board. That's popped up. Bregman into shallow left. Two, and two, that's in two, there. Base two. hit. He'll get it into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. That was not a good pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, and the pitcher's got to wonder what he has to do to get it past this guy. That pitch was off the plate, Batting but third. he shows great reach, Rondo, gets Washington good extension, National. and drives it for a two-back. No so gets yeah. him two down. Toto. So a man at third here with two guns. And up steps the power Rondo. bat of Peter Alonso. And a bit too hitter. high with that one. It's Number one and zero. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. Ready with the one-one. In there at the letters, one and two now. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. Leading off the inning, Bryce Leading Harper. Off. And the they'll need him lead. to get something going right here. Right. First pitch fastball Harper. swung on and missed 0-1. 
What a well-executed pitch right there. Just a little bit off the corner right there. Got a great hitter to go a little bit outside his zone. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge, I'm okay with that. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. And there's one away. All right, let's check out the American League All-Stars on defense. Let's take a look at catcher Wilson Contreras. This guy's got one of the best arms in the game. Think Gary Sanchez, but in the National League. Nobody wants to attempt stealing bags on this guy and brings a powerful bat to the lineup. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball down high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another Run ball up. from the Dylan. umpire. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 Three. for strike one. First shot for him oh, yeah. here with a runner at first now and one away. Now a swing and a fly ball. Calhoun sprinting after it. And that is off the wall but in foul territory. Foul ball. The 0 2 once more. He is swung Damn on and missed. He got him on strikes. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now the power Marco, hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Here's the 0-1. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. That straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more he is swung on and missed strike three. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. You're Ryan Yarbrough, the six foot now, five inch left hander, lady. takes over on the mound. <laughs> and in an all star game atmosphere like this, it can sometimes be hard to single out one player for an MVP award, but the writers here have spoken. The As you get a look at our all star game, game most valuable for player Victoria. presented. A player receives an unexpected call. It's his former high school coach, who was an important mentor and advisor to him in his teen years. Most high achievers have, in their past, an important someone who first believed in them.
Friday night baseball under the dome at Tropicana Field. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Tampa Bay Rays. It's Rays baseball, and it starts right now. Blake Snell, the southpaw out of the state of Washington. Coming to the plate now, Malik Smith. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Malik Smith. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they continue to fall on hard times, losing again last time out, and that makes seven losses in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, you know as well as I do, we were down there today on the field. This team is kind of in a little bit of malaise. They need to find a way to snap out of it. Tough homestand, only able to squeak out one win. This is a huge momentum game for this team. Fouled off. Another 0 2 home. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. And with that, a look at the Rays lineup card in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? You know, I'm really impressed with what Wilson Contreras is doing. Looking at the stats, I'm so impressed. He's in the top five home runs in the American League coming into this game. And when you're doing that, that exactly. you catch just about everybody's that's attention. That's Don't be surprised that's if he doesn't make something happen be. here. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. That's a well-placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. Down. Well okay. behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. The next 0 2. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself that in a pretty good, good position to make it through the teeth of the Wilson. lineup without a whole lot of stress. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. You know, D-Row, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball over the plate. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner, and that's the way it should be. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Nothing doing here this half. We'll head to the second inning here in St. Pete. It's into the box for his first at bat in this one. Chad Pender. And we'll see if he can get out of this little dry spell he's stuck in. Not much offensively coming from him lately. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Liner towards second. And this will get over his glove as he couldn't quite get up all the way. It's a base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up two, there. Two, two. Mullins will settle under it to no make the no play no for the Got first hold, out as the hold. runner will have to head back to first. All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. And when you focus on the numbers, this starting pitcher leads the American League in strikeouts. 
When I had a big punch-out guy on the mound, I always tell myself, I have to stay in. I have to stay engaged mentally in this one. I have to watch what the catcher's putting down. I have to go through my pre-pitch routine and stay on my toes, because at any moment, that big ball could be coming your way. The guy on the mound must have a different scouting report than we have right here. This looks like a beautiful situation for a double play right here, but he continues to pound up in the zone. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. G-Man Choi becomes out number two this inning. That'll bring in Joey Rickard as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Eight home runs and 21 driven in. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. That's back-to-back -back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0-2, let's see if he can battle back in this A-B. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Ray's strand just the one. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Stepping into the box, Daniel Robertson. And they've got some work to do early on. Down 4 nothing already. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the... Oh, he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. So the bases are Bang empty up. with one man gone. And stop. up next will be Willie really? Adamas. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Didn't mess around much in that at-bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters, and go grab some bench. Now Malik the Smith, the next to hit. Right. This will take a look at a slider here that finds Man. the zone for strike one. First time up, he went down looking. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're down four, nothing. Striding forward now is the D.H., and Matt Duffy. Off. He's 0 for, for 1 thus far. The designated hitter, Matt Duffy. Good hard wow, slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Zero. 1 and 2. The one two and it's fouled away slow one, one, roller one. down the third baseline but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two the one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Stepping in, Wilson Contreras. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Straight up. Hopped up. Rosado shading to his right. But it's the pitcher that makes the play. And that's the second out of the inning. Striding in, Chad Pinder. Now batting. Left field. Here comes the first pitch. Chad. 
Nope. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Here's a perfect situation. Two outs, base is empty, power hitter at the plate. He ain't looking for a single and hoping to pass the baton. This guy's looking to do damage. Zero. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7-0. At the plate, Austin Riley. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to and break through on the scoreboard the for the first time in this the one. Third base yeah, man. baseball is a game Number of adjustments, 27. and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Outside for a ball, one and one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Popped him up. Huff is calling for it. One out. Into the box, G-Man Choi looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Way late on the fastball for strike one. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings.